what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install display link driver for my HP USB CA Universal Dock G2. I have the model number in previous videos, so you can look that up in my channel. And uh, let's do it. Let's start. Let's start fresh. I do not have. I removed the previous uh, display link driver. I have the dock plug into my my computer, which is um, MacBook Pro 16.2 inch with the M2 Pro chip. M2 Pro chip. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if I can get the same issues that some of y'all are getting and see if we can figure that out. Loud. Download that puppy, man. Okay. Download. Okay, let's continue. Continue. Read. Install. Put in my password. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Okay, successful. All right. Wow, must be magic. Um, let me see here. Let me go back to the. Did it? Did it? Did. Look at the systems here. Let's see here. It is. Yep, I got all my monitors in. Um, let me see. Let me make sure. Okay, let's get this guy up. Um, you might be getting some sort of pop up. Let me switch switch screen I'm rec recording on so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can do this in the middle of of capturing the video, but we'll see here. Okay. All right. So I did get this warning here. Okay. I did get this warning here. So I allowed that and then I get a little, I get a little, um, Icon up here in the menu bar. Let's see, launch automatically after lock in. Yeah, enable external. No, I don't want to be your guinea pig. Uh, standard. Okay, fine. You, you can adjust that if you want. Uh, make sure you read this guy here. Okay. Close this guy. I think I'll keep it just in case something goes wrong. I can always reinstall it. Um, and as you guys can see here, I have all three monitors. Um, let me see here. Let me go into, if I remember, if I remember correct, the screen recording. Screen. Recording. I can't remember where. They changed that. They changed the, what the screen recording options are. Yeah, I made, I make sure that I allowed display link. If you're a Mac, you're an old pro at Mac, you should, you, you know what's up with the, what the deal is with this. You have to do the same thing for OBS and Slack and Zoom and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, man, I got all three. I, uh, unfortunately, I cannot re reproduce some of the uh, same screen issue that some of you guys are having. Um, I mean, at this point, make sure that you have this option here. Make sure that in your displays, you do not, you, you're, make sure that you're extending the um, displays and not um, have it as a duplicate. What I mean by that is like, for example, here, you see, if I click on one, one of my three displays, I want to make sure that it is used as a extended display and not a mirror. 
Um, I'm sure some of you guys have done this already, but you know, I'm just checking all the boxes to make sure that every minute detail is being followed um, to eliminate the possibilities. Uh, yeah, man, I, I'm sorry. I, I just don't know what's going on with some of the, the duplicate uh, or the mirroring issue that you all are having. Um, the other option I would try on the M2 Mac is to change the port which I'm plugging the USB-C into. What I mean by that is the port on the um, on the um, Mac itself. Okay, uh, try that. Let me just switch over to the external view here and uh, show you guys the external view from a POV. See you soon. So I just reconfigure my M2 MacBook Pro with the USB-C dock again. This is at this point. This is an old dock now. This is like three years old, and I have two Display Ports going to the monitor, and then here's the three monitor. Well, the two 4K monitors and the MacBook itself, and so I have three displays. And yes, the dock is charging my laptop. See, I just have uh, the one plug in there. This is for, this thing here is for my headphones. Um, and what I mean by the port earlier is, is that try switching to a different port when you plug this in. I don't know, I don't know if that makes a difference. On my Intel MacBook, but MacBook Pro, it, it did. Um, and then let's take a look at this. I just have, um, a couple of display port um, plug into the dock for the two displays, these two guys here, and some other periphery for um, my external SSD hard drive. Yeah, I'm just not getting that. I mean, I'm trying to replicate the problem that, that y'all are having, but I unfortunately, I do not have the same issue. Thanks for watching. Um, consider watching the other videos to make sure that uh, you follow the steps. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.